G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back for weekly free instant tournament number 79. Now this is the 8 board BBO tournament that you can play once a week and give it a shot. It's a best hand tournament, it's match points, uh, but uh, today I want us to focus on something a little bit uh, special. Um, I want to talk about how to improve your card play and this I think is really based on locating where the missing cards are. Now I've got a sort of generic series of questions that I like to sort of ask myself so that I can make sure I focus my energies on uh, locating these missing cards. So today I'll put extra bit of effort in doing that and I'll highlight what those are and go through them and maybe take it a little bit slower but uh, let's see what we can do. Anyway, uh, so it's gone past four spades. Um, before we get into that I'll just uh, bring up the questions that I have. So these are my generic questions that I like to uh, do to locate the missing cards. Now the first five I actually do at trick one. Now you might think, oh my god, I won't have the time to do all this, but you know, if you're playing online or against robots, this is the perfect time to practice. And with practice this becomes a lot quicker. Anyway, uh, the general questions that I like to ask are what is my hand shape and what is dummy's hand shape? So often I find people uh, just sort of play a few cards and then have no idea what it originally looked like. So if you just take a moment at trick one to work out what their hand shapes are, then if you try and think back at like trick six or seven, maybe you can piece that back together. Then I also like to think, what do we know from the bidding? What do we know from the lead? And how many high card points do the missing hands have? Now, all this can be done at trick one. Trick one's really meant to take a bit of time and it's meant to be the slowest trick of the hand, usually. Um, so they're the general questions that we do at trick one and it's a good foundation for you to actually work from. Um, after that, what I like to think of is how did that suit divide? Whenever a hit, hidden hand shows out or I know that there are no more, I like to just note how did that suit divide and piece that all together. And then also other ones that might come up but not always is what do we know from Declarer's line of play? What do we know from other lines of play uh, that could have been taken but they chose not to do? Um, or what do we know about partner's line of defense? And then finally, piecing that all together, what are the missing hands? So dragging all that information down in together. Anyway, uh, that's what we'll focus on in the card play and we'll try and work through that. Anyway, uh, past four spades, I've got this lovely 17 point hand. I want to make a penalty double. Um, this description of double, two plus spades, isn't very clear what it is. But if you look at the description of four no trump, that says three suit takeout. So if I had a takeout double, I'd bid four no trump. So it looks like double's a penalty double, so I can just make that. Um, and I'm not in a rush to try and get a heart rough or anything like that, so I'll just start with the ace of diamonds and have a look at dummy. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, so let's just go through this again. Uh, so first of all, what is my hand shape? First question we like to ask. I am a 4153. So I always go in order of spades, hearts, diamonds, clubs. 4153. And what shape is dummy? They are a 0724. So 0724 for them. What do we know from the bidding? Well, it looks like East has eight spades. Um, they might have a seven card suit if they're a seven four shape or something like that. Um, what do we know from the... Oh, we also know my partner is a past hand, so my partner won't have that many points. Um, and East is essentially weak. But how many high card points do the missing hands have? Well, I have 17, Dummy has 14, so that's 31, so there are 9 missing. So East pretty much will have the, remain, the remaining high card points. I can't see, like... My, my partner might have a few. Uh, East certainly could preempt on like six points or something like that. I've got Jack to something in spades. Um, I The only card I really care about is the Queen of Diamonds, but uh, yeah. Um, and finally, what do we know from the lead? Uh, well, I was on lead, so that's not uh, the main thing that we're going for, but what do we know from what happened at trick one? So we got the three of diamonds and the eight. Uh, if you're playing with a human partner, you'd get a signal here and you might be able to piece together what's actually going on there. Anyway, uh, let's just continue diamonds because I don't want any of them to go away. And 
they discard and my partner puts in the queen and now east shows out so at this stage what we want to think is how did that suit divide because one of the hidden hands showed out it doesn't matter that west showed out we knew that from the start but here we know those two diamonds i had five so east also had two that's when they showed out so my partner's got four diamonds so we know east has two two diamonds and seven or eight spades Anyway, uh, let's uh, win this with the seven. And my partner followed with the nine. Okay, so win that. Well, that they win that and another spade. And now we show out. So we can piece it together again. East has two diamonds and eight spades. One, zero, four, eight. So they've only got uh, three other cards. And if they are, we, we saw one heart and it really doesn't matter we're just going to get these two spade tricks there's nothing else we can do if you think about it they've got uh they've shown up with at least one heart they've shown up with two diamonds and they've shown up with eight spades so they've only got two remaining cards and they have to be um they will be able to play the ace of clubs ace of hearts and they're covered so we're just going to get the ace king of spades and then that's it maybe i should have pushed a club through earlier and we might have been able to get one more trick but they had a singleton club so they had two hearts. Um, so they were a eight two one, uh, eight two two one. Anyway, I expect this board to be reasonably flat. Whoa, eighty two percent. That was huge. What? All right, half the people didn't double. All right. So maybe they were scared off by what the double actually was when it said two plus spades. Um, because they clearly had a penalty double and that just requires you to actually check through the meaning of the bid and work out what you're actually going to do. Anyway, uh, I'm in equal first, 82%, uh, but lots of people there, uh, split field, half didn't double, half did, and that was just based on whether or not double was penalties. And if you check out what four no trumps is, looking at your other options when BBO describes it like that, you can see there was a takeout double, so you could have bid on. Anyway, uh, board number two. So here I've got a flat 17 count, so nice easy one no trump bid. I don't need to worry about spades. My general rule here is only worry about the suits that they actually tell you to worry about. So here, um, don't worry about spades. And yeah, let's bring these questions back up. What is my hand shape? Two, four, three, four. So two spades, four hearts, three diamonds and four clubs. What is dummy's hand shape? They are a four, two, three, four. Okay. Um, what do we know from the bidding? Well, East has an opening hand. Uh, West didn't want to double me. They didn't want to bid a new suit. So West won't have like a six card weak hand. Um, they also only have one or two hearts from uh, this bidding. What do we know from the lead? That looks like a singleton or a doubleton. Uh, and we know East has decent hearts. And how many high card points do the missing hands have? There are five there, and I have uh, 17, so 22, 18 missing. East could be a balanced hand, um, so they've probably got 12, so 6 and 12, or East could have a little bit more than that. So that's where we're at at this stage. Um, if I actually try and plan the play on this hand, I've got two hearts, probably three clubs for five tricks, a diamond is six. And I might be able to work on another trick in diamonds. I might be able to end play east. Anyway, I'm just going to... No harm in putting the jack up here. West may have found a really odd lead from low from... Uh, low from Queen Doubleton. So I may as well just test that. And we'll just knock out the club. Alright, so West has the Ace of Clubs. So straight away we can... Now locate east with pretty much all the remaining points. Uh, they had 12, so and we know hearts are 2, 2, 5, 4, so it looks like east is a balanced hand. Um, so east has basically all the remaining points, and there isn't much that they can do here. Um, so I'll try and end play them, just keeping an eye on uh, what cards they discard and things like that. So we'll win that. And Queen of Clubs. Okay, Jack of Clubs. All right, I didn't see the 10, so we'll just discard there. 
and I think they pitched two spades so put them in and we will discard get to win there and diamond back to the ace ah they did have the king anyway and <laughs> I missed the club I guess So that was the first board. Ah, stiff ten of clubs. So I probably could have made that. Um, too busy not looking at that. So uh, heart lead, I win. King of clubs and the ten. That was a very vital card. I missed it. Pretty sloppy there. Um, and now another heart. With West having the king of spades, I guess I couldn't do it. East did have an unbalanced hand, so that lowered their opening range to 11. Um... So Queen of Clubs and the Jack of Clubs. <laughs> I can catch my club winner or I can avoid it. Doesn't actually matter. Um, so 60%. Uh, a couple of people made it. Some people went more off. And yeah. How, how did someone make it? Oh, wait. Oh, no. One No Trump by West made. They made a takeout double. The takeout double there is terrible. They got rewarded. Um, I don't like that bid at all. Anyway, uh, that was board two. Um, missed a 10, but um, yeah. 60%. Going okay. Alright, and here we've got 14 highs. 2, 6, 3, 2. Start with one heart. Probably rebid two hearts. <laughs> That's out the window. Uh, four hearts, so... A general guideline that I like to go like some people are like oh my hands pretty good or not here I've got a clear pass uh, but my general rule that I like to go with is that it when they preempt you still want to be aggressive to game but you want to be cautious towards slam my partner only had one bid they could have been pretty pushy here every now and then you might miss a slam but you want to give them a lot of leeway to try and bid game um, so don't try and investigate slam too often so we'll just pass that out So, like, as you can see, my partner had nine points, and it described the bid as 12 plus high card points, 13 to 18 total points. I like my partner's four heart bid. They have to do that. Um, but what you can see is if you think, oh, yeah, I'll go investigate. When partner makes these pushy bids, then you, you punish them. Anyway, um, so here we are, and go through those questions again. What is my hand shape? It is a 2632. 2632. And what is dummy's hand shape? 4432. Four, okay. What do we know from the bidding? West probably has eight clubs. It says they could have seven. They might be a seven four shape, but probably have an eight card club suit. So I expect this to go club, club rough, and go from there. Uh, what do we know from the lead? Well, they're leading their long suit, trying to give their partner a rough. Uh, it's an unsupported ace, so they didn't have any other clear lead. Maybe they'd be trying to lead a singleton if they had one. So they might not have a singleton in one of the unbid suits. Uh, they may have a void, though, but if they've got a void, it's probably in hearts. And how many high card points are missing? There are 9 in dummy, and I had 14, so 23 highs, 17 missing. And they're probably reasonably split. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. If we count our losers, I have a club loser, probably a club rough. I've got two diamond losers and a spade. I don't think I'll be making this, but we'll see. So ace of clubs and a club. So how did that suit divide? One, two, two, eight. All right, so we'll just put in the ace of hearts. All right, how did this suit divide? divided three four six zero so west has eight clubs and zero hearts so straight away we know that the hand shape is an eight zero three two or eight zero four one if they were an eight zero four one or something um they might have been five clubs they have a pretty good club suit of ace queen jack to eight um so i suspect that east might have both the missing kings if you put the king of of either of the other suits in into uh, their hands um, then they have 10 high card points which is kind of a lot but uh, not unreasonable 
So, what can we do about this? So, we'll draw trumps. And we got a spade discard over here. So, I think East would have started with at least five spades to discard there. So, I'm going to predict that West shape. Like, you want to keep length with the dummy pretty, uh, very often. Uh, so, I expect West East to have five spades, West to have two. So, um, spades to be, uh, West to be a two, zero, three, eight. So, low spade, I got ducked. Okay. Um, so, I'll play a spade back to the ace. Um, Trump a spade. And I want it now. I, I could play a diamond to the ace, diamond to the queen. Uh, hat like, oh, I've got lots of different options here about who I think has uh, the king of diamonds. If I think east has the king of diamonds, I could play a diamond to the ace, diamond back. West showed up with the jack of spades, so I've got eight high card points, and if I gave them um, their. And I also just pitched a diamond here, so I've come down to two diamonds. So I'm actually guaranteed at this stage by diamond to the ace and a diamond back. Um, because even if West won it, they'd have to give me a rough and discard. So 10 tricks there, and hopefully a reasonable board. 96%. I don't think I did anything too drastic there, but as you can see, through that reasoning, you can place all of these cards here. Um, so lots of people went off, and um, after Ace of Clubs Club, I'm fairly sure it's cold by crossing over to that north hand, keeping everything intact. We're fairly sure we know where all the kings are, leading towards it. If uh, East hopped up with the king of spades, go low spade king, I'd cash the queen, get back to the ace, the jack drops, and I'd get to throw all of my cards away. So by placing where those cards are, you can actually bring this contract home and get a nice juicy score there. So 82, 60, 96, we're running at 79, and yeah, it's all gone well. So it's a lot easier to play when you know where all the cards are, I must say that. Uh, a club pass a spade, so I'm just passing with this hand, and I'll pass again. So where are the cards? First of all, what is my hand shape? My hand shape is a 4, 3, 4, 2. Uh, 14 highs. What is dummy's hand shape? Uh, don't forget they've played a card already, so 4, 3, 3, 3. What do we know from the bidding? West is a balanced hand with 12 to 14 points. Um, they also don't have 4 spades, and clubs is their better minor. Um, our partner also didn't want to overcall anything, so our partner probably doesn't have that many points to be honest, but they might have preempted, they might have bid a five card suit if they had eight points. How many high card points do the missing hands have? Well, I have uh, 14, dummy has 10, so that's 24, 16 missing, with 12 to 14 in the west hand. Um, so my partner has two to four points. Um, so not that promising, but where do I want my partner's two to four points? Queen of diamond, queen ten of diamonds might be useful. Um, yeah, so let's just win and uh, try and build a deep diamond trick. So another diamond back, they'll get to play on clubs. I suspect that they'll make eight tricks on this hand. I'll get in, I'll knock out a diamond. Um, right. Anyway, we'll go up with the ace here. Another diamond, make them discard. They let go of a heart here. So straight away, how did that suit divide? West had two diamonds. Um, so two, four, three, four. All right, so we know West doesn't have four spades. So West is probably something like a three, four, two, four, or a three, three, two, five. They let go of a heart, which suggests to me, and they also played on hearts pretty early, that the 3424 handshape is probably what they have. 
Alright, now they're out of entries to this east hand, so we'll let go of the spades. Uh, my partner also had, um, and they've shown up with five clubs here. My partner also had uh, well, what was I going to say? My, my partner had the jack of diamonds, so that's one of their points. Uh, diamond over to my partner. Get that spade. Whoa! Wow, we, they, we held it to one. Uh, so they managed to let go all their spades. Um, and they are slightly off, off semi-balanced hand shape, definitely within reason, and it should be considered. Two, four, two, five. Um, and from their play, I probably could have guessed that's what was actually happening. Anyway, holding that to uh, just making one, so Declara did not play that the best. Uh, lots of people let that made have over tricks. Lots of people also doubled on this hand. Not too opposed to a double. Um, but you're really showing two four card suits. And if partner bids two hearts, like I, I don't really see where this is going. If my opponents were favourable and human and might be trying to rob me or something, I'd be more inclined. But here, I, I think just letting it go seems fair. Um, but I don't think doubling this is like the worst thing in the world here. So this is going really, really strongly. Uh, 89, overall 82%. So quite happy with how this is progressing. Ah, five, five, two, one, eight, um, six, 14 highs, five, five. Not the best. I've got uh, lots of points in my shortages. My partner didn't want to come into the auction, but I'm still happy to bid my other suit. And we get to three clubs. They bid on over it. They bid to four spades and I don't really have that much defense, so I'm not going to double this. West could have quite a decent hand with hearts for this sort of bidding. Um, and my hand is awful to lead from. Anyway, four spades. Ah, right. Okay, so my partner volunteered a club raise, so they probably have something in clubs. And there's no... There's no guarantee that they've got the Queen of Clubs, but that would be a nice card for them to have. Uh, they may have a heart shortage. So if I try and think about what's going on here, my partner didn't bid, but then was happy to compete to three clubs. So what did I show? Yeah. Like, I, I don't think my partner would be bidding three clubs that much on a balanced hand. I am tempted to try and find them with a singleton heart and go ace of clubs club rough, uh, but that might not even be good enough to beat it. Um, leading a club is scary if they've got a really weak hand. I, I suspect they've probably got the queen of clubs. And I might be able to score the king of spades, but if I go ace of hearts heart rough, they're more inclined to try and drop the um, singleton king. Uh, my king of diamonds is probably scoring. I think it's pretty close, but let's go the Ace of Hearts. Right. Stick to the plan. Success. All right. Um, ah, so those things I was meant to do at trick one. What was my hand shape? I was a one five two five. Um, what was Dummy's hand shape? They were a four five four zero. So it's good to be able to backtrack to where it was and remember what their hand shape actually is. So 4540. Uh, what do we know from the bidding? East is a passed hand, so they don't have that many points. And Dummy's only got 10. Uh, also, my partner didn't want to respond, so they don't have that many points either. So we can probably narrow down the points pretty well. Um, and it looks like East has spades and diamonds and a doubleton heart. Um, so maybe a it looks like my partner's got a lot of clubs over there for their bidding. Um, and how many high card points uh, are missing? So I had 14, Dummy had 10, which is 24, 16 missing. East didn't want to bid there, but they've got around 10 or 11, um, which will give my partner 
five or six, but if I had six, that bid. So East has 11, my partner's got five, and that is locked in because there's no other way to divide this 16 points between two past hands and a past responder. So we can uh, place that. My partner's got five points, nothing in uh, hearts. And diamond to the king. Queen of spades, rough over rough. Okay. Ace of clubs. Club rough. And rough over rough. Oh, no. Spade to me. Uh, they didn't rough and over rough. I thought they were going to play a heart and continue trying to do that. Uh, so I'll try and play a diamond here. And no such luck. All right, they've got the rest of the tricks here, making 10, but hopefully that was pretty good because uh, we managed to find the uh, initial rough. Um, I'm not sure if that mattered or not, though. 67%. Um, so a lot tough hand to lead from. I think it was fair, and the deductions we made were right. Look, so my partner had 5, the other hand had um, 11. Uh, we didn't double it, but no one Matt, chose to double 4 spades. Um, probably a bad choice if you did do that. So I managed to get to four hearts, east, west, when that went past, pass, and they opened a spade. <laughs> nice little psych there for the win. And some people managed to get to five clubs, which got doubled once for um, 500 and once for 200. I never actually considered sacrificing here, vulnerable against not. My partner did have a lot of clubs, but turns out to be the right choice maybe, but uh, not for me. I prefer just to defend four spades and uh, try and hold it to uh, 10 tricks or possibly beat it on a different day. Um, so going pretty well, rank one, 79%. And flat 12 counts, so I'll just open a minor. And my partner, uh, bid one spade, so one diamond, one heart, one spade, two hearts, pass is my normal bid. My partner's got at least five spades, I don't want them to pass this out though, uh, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully they make it take out double, and now I can get to two spades. Um, if I had three card support, the robots play support doubles in this spot, I would usually just raise spades myself, but um, here I can show that I've got uh, two spades and I think that's a playable spot. And we found a fit. My partner had has a pretty good hand here. Uh, we might have missed a game. We've got one spade loser. We've got two club losers. We've got a deep diamond loser, but that can go on the clubs. Um, so it looks like we had 10 tricks available here. Um, I think maybe my partner could have done a little bit more than just uh, passing two spades here. Their hand's quite good, especially when I open a diamond. Um, but anyway, let's go through these questions again. What's my hand shape? Two, three, four, four. What's dummy's hand shape? Six, two, three, two. And what do we know from the bidding? So we know hearts are five, three. West has an overcalling strength. East just has a simple raise. They also didn't want to uh, open the bidding and they didn't want to preempt. So no weird shenanigans there. Um, what do we know from the lead? They've led low from an honor. Uh, so the honor, hard honors are probably split. So West's hearts aren't fantastic. So uh, they'll probably have slightly more points because they don't have a really good heart suit. And how many high card points do the missing hands have? Well, I've got uh, 12 opposite uh, 11. So 23, 17 missing. Um, let's say six with East. So that would give West about 11. Anyway, uh, I just want to win, draw trumps, and try and knock out the ace, king, and clubs. So entries to the south hand are probably more important here. So low spade, and now they've come in and pushed through a diamond. So there's good defense by them. Um, now the best play here is to hope that West has like Jack 9 third diamond or Queen 9 third. So just put in a low one. And we'll play another spade and overtake it and draw trumps. Uh, 
Um, so they're going to be able to hold me to nine tricks with that diamond switch there. And um, so the diamond switch was good to knock out my entry. So now if I play club, they can win, they can knock out the heart, and I won't be able to get to this south hand. Um, but no harm in trying to see if they don't quite get the right defense. So jack of diamonds, they won the ace. They've now switched to the jack of diamonds. So West had the ace of spades, the ace of clubs, the jack of diamonds, and one of the heart honors. Um, so I just hope that uh, they're out. Uh, East is out of diamonds. So if West had four diamonds, that would be okay. Um, so making nine. So nice defense by the robots and 32%. Ouch, that hurt. So uh, lots of people making 10 tricks. So what were they doing there? Uh, so they passed my hand for starters. Okay. Someone opened one no trump on my hand. Someone opened one heart. Someone opened one club. So, uh, right, so how <laughs> low heart, spade, they win, and they switch to a club. All right, so that bidding is really weird. Um, all right, someone who also opened a diamond. So let's just see what's happening here. So heart lead, they uh, win, and jack of clubs straight away. Jack of diamonds switch, ten of clubs. So they just went straight after clubs to try and get rid of that discard. And with doing that, they actually had the timing to get rid of their diamonds. So that was actually quite good play there. Should have given that better consideration, but I forgot that they might have been able to just attack diamonds and get that diamond trick early enough. Um, so, yeah, careful play there. I like this... Uh, well done tomorrow there. That was uh, well done. A little bit sloppy by me. And some of these... Every... Like... These two are just right out there. Um, and passing two hearts doubled. Alright, so all of the... Like, this one I don't mind so much, but yeah. So be it. Anyway, uh, two to go. Still in rank one, running at 71%. Ah, this is a pretty, really good, fantastic 5-5 five, five shape. Um, so, one spade, two clubs. My partner jumped to three hearts. Invite uh, with six plus hearts. Now, I've got 14 points. I want to go on to game. I actually feel like four hearts will probably be, be better than three no trump. Um, because spades aren't running, clubs aren't running. So let's try four hearts, even though I've only got a singleton. Alright, so first of all, three no trumps uh, might... M no, it doesn't make it. might have two hearts, a diamond, five clubs. So uh, uh, it might be makeable. Um, but here we are in four hearts. And just a quick loser count. We've got a spade loser, two diamonds, and a bunch of hearts that we need to play. All right. Uh, what was my hand shape? It's a 5125. What is dummy's hand shape? Well, it's actually inverted. Um, so that's the dummy. Um, but yeah. Uh, the other hand is a 2632. What do we know from the bidding? East West didn't want to uh, get involved. Uh, so they didn't want to overcall, but it was over a spade, so not a lot to go on there. Um, what do we know from the lead? East led an unsupported ace rather than leading the unbid suit. So that's kind of weird. I'm not too sure why they'll do that. Maybe they got some broken holding in diamonds or, and are a little bit scared of uh, leading that. Maybe it's a singleton ace of spades. Those sorts of things there. And how many high card points do the missing hands have? I have 14, dummy's got 10, so it's 24, 16 missing. Um, yeah. Alright. So, ace of spades. And now a diamond switch. 
Alright, so I want to hop in with the ace here and work out what is the best way to do this. So if I take a heart finesse and it loses, I'm just going to go down straight away. My other alternative of like cashing three rounds of clubs and pitching a diamond isn't great. Feels like I'll need the heart finesse to work at any rate on this hand. So I'm just going to lead a heart to the queen, cash the ace of hearts now. Ten of hearts covered, okay. So we're going down. Um, and diamonds were 4-4. Four, four. Uh, so let's just cash the ace of hearts. And... Hope that hearts are 3-3. Three, three. And it looks like they are. No. Uh, so going down quite a bit and another bad result and that will knock me out of first place. Ten percent. Four hearts down three. Um, so I could have, yeah it was a singleton ace. I could have got out for down two if I sort of gave up on any chance of making this. So where would lots of people get to? Three no trump. So three no trumps ha has diamonds breaking four four, and I get like the clubs coming in as well. Uh, I feel like on this hand, f three no trumps is definitely a better spot than uh, four hearts, but it doesn't look like it's a makeable spot too often. Um, if diamonds are five three, then you're in a lot of trouble. I don't mind my guess at trying to play in. Four hearts. My partner's hearts were slight bit better than uh, would have been a pretty reasonable spot. Um, I think passing three hearts is probably wrong. We've got 14 highs. Our partner's got 10 to 12. Um, so we've got the points to try and get to game. And it's just choosing which one we actually want to play in. Anyway, uh, four hearts was a definite loser there. One person managed to make three no trump. Um... Wow, they let a low spade away from the queen. I guess that's what they might have to do. Uh, you've got one heart, one diamond. Yeah, if low spade and the stiff ace appears, so you actually get to make that. Which is, you know, pretty lucky. They're playing for stiff ace with east rather than Dalton queen with west. So if they managed to get to the south hand and lead a low spade towards the queen, they would have upped their chances a lot. So not great play, but successful. So in rank two with 62%, one board to go. Pass, pass, a club, 14 highs, five, two, four, two. So I'll start with one spade. My partner's just not bidding at all. Um, I'm gonna make a takeout double. I, yeah, I've got a good hand. I don't want my partner to pass this. Happy for them to compete in diamonds or anything like that, so. At three diamonds, push them to three hearts, which is good, and we'll let it rest there. So my partner wasn't interested in playing in spades at all, so again, maybe they have their singleton spade, but I'm not going to lead that when I've got a good diamond lead here. Okay. Um, what do we know? So first of all, what was my hand shape? It was a 5-2-4-2, two, two, and what was dummies? 3-4-4-2. Four, four, so after this, what do we know from the bidding? East opened one club. Uh, my partner was happy to uh, bid three diamonds. Now, they've probably got a four card diamond suit, especially based on um, the 10 there. So I would guess that uh, diamonds are triple four, one around the table. So East has a singleton, which would give West, uh, East something like uh, triple four, one or a three, um, three, four, one, five. And, okay. Uh, so my partner's got at most two spades, so I will be able to give them a rough at least once. So uh, it looks like going ace of spades and a spade rough here. Uh, 
All right, so how did that suit divide? It divided uh, 1, 3, 5, 4. So, and now we know diamonds divided 4, 4, 4, 1. So we know East hand shape. They've got uh, 4 spades, 4 hearts, and 4 clubs. So triple four one on clubs. So we've pieced together their hand shape uh, already. And what about the high card points? I don't think I ever really got to counting the high card points. I had uh, 14. Dummy had 10. King of Spades, Queen Jack of Diamonds, and the Ace of Clubs. So that's uh, 24. 16 missing. East has an opening hand. They've got a triple four one. I don't think the robots will open at an 11 count. So my partner's probably got about four points there. And we haven't seen any of them yet. All right, so East has Ace, Queen, Jack of Hearts. They've got Queen, Jack of Spades. So they've probably got some low club card there. Um, they've also got one more heart. There's not a lot I can do about this, but I don't think I'm in any rush to open up the clubs. Uh, so we'll just play a spade here. Let them have their one discard. And they roughed, and they king of clubs, and they're making three here. Thirty-five percent. Ouch! Dropped to fifty-nine. Thought I defended that reasonably well. I don't think there was much I could have done. I could have started at trick one with the ace of spades. For me, I'm not not really interested in trying to do that. Some people managed to beat two hearts. I guess they started with the ace of ace of spades, spade rough, back through, and go again. Um, I think that, like, the Ace of Diamonds seems a pretty normal lead, and then going from there, uh, lots of people did the same. Um, so, overall, happy with that. Um, got a bit punished in this uh, rear end. <laughs> yeah. Um, here, four hearts. Yeah, a bit of a marginal one. Um, here, two spades. A um, little bit sloppy by me not playing a club straight away. I actually think that's a good play. I missed that they could poke in the diamonds. But other than that, that all went pretty well to start with, but uh, faded near the end. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and learnt a lot about uh, how you can place where the cards are and working out where they are, and how you can get really good scores just by uh, using the, those general questions to start placing the cards and going from there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.